casita. Help me out. Sure. Music can help tell stories in an animated realm. In Encanto, working on original songs with 12 original characters, it's really, really exciting. So, welcome to family, Madrigal. There's this family, the Madrigal family, and they've been blessed with these magical gifts. Where all the people are fantastical and magical. I'm part of family, Madrigal. I told them to warm up your seat. Thank you, Toñito. These characters are having emotional breakthroughs and reunions all in song. The filmmakers put a great amount of faith in me to be able to musicalize this, so I feel really grateful. Maybe I overdo it. Yep. What else can I do? With every musical project, I'm trying to find the pulse of the characters. The song I wrote for Isabella is called What Else Can I Do? And for that, I was really inspired by the 90s rock and espanol movement. And it was about finding those Colombian rhythms that are so unique. Colombia has a lot of rich musical traditions within itself that are unique to Colombia, but also there's an incredible amount of variety. Colombian music is special because we do it with our heart, you know, we do it with, with love. It's a beautiful story in every song. Colombia. Colombia me encanto. I wanted to just write the most joyous song possible, a love letter to Colombia itself. Obviously, Carlos Vives is a worldwide music figure. I was in love with his music already. That song is so inspired by his writings, and so to have him sing on that is like a dream. Sebastián Yatra he is a star in Colombia, and he has an incredible voice. My manager called me one day, and she's like, hey, so Disney's doing a new movie about Colombia. And I was like, yes, 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 just say yes. <laughs> this was such a joy to work on this. It's one thing to write the song, but then to see the thrilling visuals. That was an incredible experience. 